This spring, Nature Change returned to the Clay Cliffs Preserve, managed by the Leelanau Conservancy, to find out how such incredibly cute baby goats could be part of a war on garlic mustard. Garlic mustard is a harmful, invasive plant capable of spreading at an astonishing rate across forest floors and other disturbed lands, replacing native plants to become a monoculture, preventing the growth of wildflowers and other plants needed for a diverse ecosystem. The Conservancy has battled garlic mustard at Clay Cliffs for years, trying to protect the beauty and diversity of the native plants. But the small mustard seeds are spread so easily, preserve manager Becky Hill has felt overwhelmed. I think last time I talked to you, I jokingly said that we needed an army of volunteers or someone to, to come help us pull garlic mustard. And over the winter, um, I, was, I learned about Amy McIntyre and City Girls Farm. I had heard about conservation grazing and using goats and just loved the idea, but knew that we weren't in a position to have our own goats and manage that on our own. And so the idea of bringing in her and a, as a contractor to help us with this project just really excited me because this, the area that the goats are working in is the area that we just in the end always can't get to in the way that we want to because it's just such a dense population and we're really trying to focus on areas like this where the trillium and other spring ephemerals are around where it's more diverse and trying to get these isolated plants. So having the goats with us this year is really, really exciting. Using portable fencing and a small herd of goats and sheep, City Girls Farm specializes in conservation grazing, which is one way to control and help eradicate invasive species and other bad actors like poison ivy. Of course, it's not work to baby goats. Having small kids is the perfect target animal because they're hungry and they're growing, so they're just little eating machines. Better still, goats are well equipped to destroy both plant and seeds. Their mouths, teeth on the bottom, a plate on top, so they're grinding the seeds that they eat, they're grinding the food. Four-chambered stomach, so they burp and chew their cud, second level of processing. Um, they're also hooved animals, they're ungulates, and so their feet are crushing any stem structure still on the ground. And then when they um, eliminate their manure, because of the process it went through, there's, there's no regeneration, or regermination, pardon me, of seeds. To get plenty of hungry baby goats on site, McIntyre asked for help from the well-known Northport cheesemaker, Idle Farms. Farm manager Melissa Hiles says Idle Farms was proud to contribute. City Girls Farm called us about five, six months ago and asked if we'd like to uh, sell them some goats and explained what they were going to do with the project and that's something that we absolutely love. We love you know, natural grazing, um, environmentally friendly and uh, so we decided to donate a group of kids for the project. Leelanau Conservancy Director Tom Nelson says the goats will limit the need for herbicide use and maybe lessen the burden on staff and volunteers. So this is the first time we've tried this and it seems to be working extremely well. Um, obviously we're thinking about the other properties that we own that are open and available to the public. Uh, the next stop will be our De Young Natural Area down in Elmwood Township, um, an old uh, farm, cherry farm, um, with lots of issues. Uh, old farms often have them, and uh, we expect the goats to do a great job there as well. While goats are great at clearing unwanted vegetation, they're also mostly indiscriminate eaters and tend to clear all vegetation, good and bad. So the goats are good in places totally overrun by garlic mustard, but there's still a lot of hand work to do, work that may continue for years. Even though the goats are here, we still need a lot of help because pretty much wherever there is a forest in clay cliffs, there is garlic mustard or the threat for garlic mustard to be here. So not only do we need to pull what is here, I also wanna just make sure that we comb the forest, walking back and forth, looking for any plants because all it takes is one individual plant to drop their thousands and thousands of seeds to then just continue the problem. 